Hello, my cozy company. It's Rosalind, and welcome to a first look at Potions, a curious tale. I got a hold of the devs, and they said, hey, you share this with your audience? And I said, absolutely, I'll share it with my friends. So we are going to check out Potions today. We're going to start a brand new game. Ooh, shiny. Excited to see what, what settings they have, too. Crash. Oh, this is Luna. Ow. Oh, and a deckhand. Are you all right down here? Did we fall out of our hammock? I think so. My head broke my fall. I think we've run aground. Take these potions of healing and stay below deck. Topside is no place for a young lass. Oh, that's some very loud ground. Okay, let's drink a potion of healing. Press one to select the health potion. And then right click. We've got a nice little bar here. And then we do the waz to move. Very nice. Oh, that we've got multiple, multiple healing places. Before we go any farther, can we check out some settings? All right, we've got some volume options. We love that. A total volume, and then we break up our volume into the different types. We've got a windowed mode and some language options. Quite a lot of languages, guys. That's like super exciting. There's also an invulnerable mode, which is pretty cool. I guess that's more for a more cozy, less stressful experience. I'm not seeing any changes in keybinds or UI or anything like that, which is a little disappointing. Tap the space bar to interact with the closest object and to collect all harvested items around you. Oh, what? okay, I'm outside. Is there anything? Can I go back? I can't. So if I miss something in that first room, I'm screwed, huh? Hmm, it's locked. Can I have this net? It looks like a very nice net. Can I check the barrels? I guess I'm going above above deck where I shouldn't be. Oh, no. Sinbad, get back, devil fish. I shall have your tentacles hung from the main yard like the slimy... What on earth is that thing? It's the Kraken. You should have stayed below deck, girl. Oh. Can I have a weapon? I better not stumble into these weapons. They look sharp. Oh, well, can I have one? Uh... I has? Oh, wonderful dear girl taunting that beast into attacking our weaponry is a stroke of genius. Okay, that was not, not what I intended, but hey, if that's what we're gonna do, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, bonk. Watch out for the oil. Don't let it catch fire, fire, oh. I, uh, a ye. Don't. Uh, so we want to burn. Witten hitting the, the Kraken hitting the ship with an oily tentacle would be a bad idea. Apparently it took all the fire with it. You're a marvel, my dear. The beast flees from you as if from the Kalf's armada. A young girl sends the terrible monster back into the depths. The bard shall sing of your great victory. I hardly call that a victory. Nonsense. We're not dead. The ship did not sink. The sun is above and the sea below. What more can a sailor ask for? But this is no time to celebrate. Full sail, crew. Onward to our destination. Where are you going with a broken main mast? You're not going anywhere, friends. Praise to the Most High we've arrived at last, the town of Old Haven. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's the only port this side of the Wildlands. Attracts all manner of adventurers, treasure hunters, smugglers, and scoundrels. I wouldn't exactly call this a safe passage, but deal's a deal. Here's the rest of your payment, Sam Dad. Ah, uh, but of course, the Arabella always arrives safe and safe and so. Yeah, she's the first one to do so. Wow, all your other boats have sunk. Why, yes, miss. Why do you think we charge so little for the fare? See, I would I would charge more in that case, risking my life every time to make this adventure. Oh, it's Emily. Excuse me, what happened to the ship? It was attacked by a huge sea monster just before we arrived. 
Not again. That Kraken is attacking more ships than it did in the past. What brings you here anyway? Old Haven isn't a very safe town. I'm here to study with my grandmother. Study? Yeah, my grandmother is this town's potions master. I'm here to learn the trade. You learn the intricacies of one of the most complicated forms of magic? I doubt you would be even able to grasp the basic concepts. You're just going to get in our way when Old Haven needs her services dearly. Go back home to be coddled and let a more worthy person be your apprentice. Oh, we have nothing to say to that, apparently. And she's just hanging here by the dock, just waiting to insult any person who comes off the dock. <laughs> Looks like we've got a little in here. Do we have a map? Doesn't seem like it. Mmm. This art style is reminding me very much of Verdant Skies. Can I click to move? No, sadly, this is, you gotta use WASD. Can we use a controller? Yes, you can use an Xbox controller and a PlayStation controller to be able to play. So we have to find Granny's house. Ooh, can we, ooh, we can scavenge a little bit. Blueberries quickly and thoroughly stain clumsy fingers. Hardy berries favored by witches from colder climates. Ooh, at least we'll we'll do some gathering as we learn about the map here. Looks like we've got a forge that's blocked off. Looks like this could shatter easily. But we don't have the tools to be able to take care of it just yet. We don't have a map, but I'm sure we'll find our way around. I see we have the butcher or a tanner. Aha! Potion supplies. It's got a little little sign here. Let's go in. Hello? Mm, oh, Luna, my dear, welcome. My, how have you grown? Nice to see you, grandmother. Please call me Granny. Everyone else around here does. Now, I understand you've shown some skill in the craft of potion brewing. I wouldn't exactly call it skill. I was trying to make some brown dye to color a scuff in the door and it exploded. Exploded, you say? Yes, I blew the back porch right off the house. Mother was so mad at me. Wonderful, dear, you must have the talent. Go on, tell me how you made this explosion. Well, there were some mushrooms around that were almost the right color of brown, so I ground them up. It was too light to match the door, though, so I added a bit of ash from the fireplace until the shade matched. And then I didn't have a brush, so I found a feather to apply it, and bam, it blew up the second I touched it with the feather. Oh, a minor explosion potion. Marvelous, my dear. You do have the talent. Now go collect a mushroom, ash, and a feather. You should be able to find ash and feathers at McDonald's farm. There should be plenty of mushrooms at the edge of the deep, dark forest. Off you go. Can't I just use the ash from the fireplace here and wreak havoc on my own supply? Certainly not. Go search out these ingredients and come back when you've gathered them all. Oh, okay. Tips. Oh... So she doesn't give any, she just gives like in-game tips, not like how to play tips. Click down here to back up. Mary Muffet, may I help you? Could you please help me collect these herbs? I have no idea who you are. Tap the space bar to interact with the closest object and collect all the harvested items around you. Oh, we got some time. Perfect flavor every time. You're welcome. Do, do are all of the all of the people's names like based off like fairy tales? I mean, I know Emily isn't, but Sinbad was familiar. Muffet, Miss Muffet, I don't know, Tuffet. Oh, it seems like we have something new on our menu here. Oh, so we have a, a bestiary that's popped up and looks like a compendium for what items we've collected. Interesting. Let's go over here to farm and desert. She said at the edge of the deep dark forest, but if I click on this, it takes me directly to the deep dark forest and there's monsters in there. So I don't want to do that. Let's go over here. Grasslands level one. There's different levels of the map. There's monsters here too. Oh, that's a turkey. It's a gobbler. He's got a health bar. I bet this would grow easily with a bit of care. Oh, so there, here's some feathers. Resting one's head on these is treatment for illness. Oh, is it? Seems like we've got all the ingredients that we've been asked to grab here. Let's make our way back to grandma's. Oh, grandma. Oh, you've gathered all the ingredients. Perfect. Let me show you how to craft them. This is where you can craft potions by combining the ingredients. All potions take three ingredients to craft. Some will require specific ingredients, while others may only require mana. Each ingredient has a mana value. The feather you gathered, for example, contributes one air mana. Okay, so mana plus a element. 
Now let's craft that minor explosion potion. The potion is rare in that it uses three types of mana. Most potions are crafted with only two. Combine mushroom with ash and a feather. Okay. Where? Okay, I have to click on these different ones here. Ma mushroom. It's like really hard to see. <laughs> and a feather. Craft. Oh, wonderful, dear. Your very first potion. You can review the recipe for it in the recipe book in the bottom right corner. And you can craft as many as you have ingredients for. Although you made this with a mushroom, ash, and feather, you can make it with other ingredients of the same elements, too. Be sure to look for ingredients with different mana values in your explorations. Those rare, higher mana ingredients can make potions that really pack a punch. Remember, though, you can only carry 10 vials of each potion in your satchel at a time. Okay. So we have a little recipe book. Cool. Fire potions. Oh, you click on... I'm only seeing fire potions. Maybe that's all I have access to right now. Home? Would you like to equip them? I don't know. What does equipping do? <laughs> now that you know how to craft, you're welcome to use my cauldron to brew any potion you like. Just click on the cauldron to start crafting. Would you please pay a visit to Callum at the farm? I fear I lost my stone of recall when I was looking into his dry well. Be sure to take some minor explosion potions with you. Callum has a nasty rat problem. Aggressive things even stole papers from my bags. Oh, okay. So she's introducing us to our satchel now. You can change your equipped potions. I only have one. Can I? So I select here and then click. Gotcha. And then I click the home button to go back. I see you've collected a good amount of potion ingredients. Let's store them for safekeeping. I'll store your ingredients whenever you return home. You wouldn't want to lose them if you befall troubles in your adventures. All right. So she she take she takes stuff from us here. It says, if I could just recall, search around the farm's well and find her stone of recall. All right, back to the farm we go. Sounds like we might need a way to defend ourselves, but we haven't really been introduced to how to make a health potion or any weapons other than potions so far. Let's check out this well. Oh, we're allowed to go down here now. So, ooh, could that rat have stolen Granny's stone of recall? Select the potion you wish to use by pressing a number or clicking the potion bar. Then right click and release to throw a potion along the previewed path. You can left click to cancel the throwing. Oh, we use potions to fight as well. Oh, is this her missing stone? I can use Granny's stone of recall to get back home. All right. Oh, there's a little chest here too. And we can use space bar to pick everything up at once. We got three ash. So we've updated our bestiary. We've got our recipe book our, and our two compendiums, our bestiary and our compendium rather. So how do I use the recall? I just click on it here. Ah, so we got a little, little fast travel option. You may have the proper permits, but I'll monitor your use of this vile sorcery. Yes, yes. Oh, Luna, welcome home, my dear. What? How did she get in here? What trickery is this, witch? This Prince Charming. Oh, splendid. You found my stone of recall. She of age to be using such devilry. I'll have you know this stone will return you to my home from wherever you may travel. Are you even listening to me? I have authority here. My deepest apologies for neglecting your tantrum, my prince. Luna has seen her 12th cycle of the season, so she is of age to use these trinkets and study potion brewing herself. She's 12. Shall I brew a mood enhancer for you? You seem quite troubled. No, I want none of it. Oh boy. The prince has adopted an interesting approach for his stay in Old Haven. Who is he? He's Prince Charming, the youngest prince of the royal family. No matter. I was recovering the stone. I had to fight a rat down in the well to get it. Good job, my dear. If we work to save lives. Conflict is sometimes unavoidable or even necessary. It is? Do you think toad eyes grow on trees? I fear not, but you'll find much benefit in only killing for what you need to, as force is often met with force. Many things can be gained with other methods of approach. Let me enter this recipe for a minor potion of healing in your recipe book so you can heal in future encounters. Ah, okay, great. So we're learning how to heal ourselves now. Oh, what a cute little bottle. You can review all the recipes you've learned here. You'll find your knowledge of them may allow you to create them with different sets of ingredients. Just like the first potion you made, this uses three types of mana. You select the ingredients for a potion recorded in your recipe book, you'll be able to craft multiple copies. 
Now, my dear, practice your brewing by crafting two of these minor potions of healing, delivering one to the inn and the other to the huntsman. Here are the ingredients. Okay, so we need a air, a water, and a earth, I think. Is that not a... Oh, I select down here. Okay, all right. So I have to go to the recipe book. Elementless potion, okay. Pin recipe. Okay, so then it comes up here as minor potion of healing and we need one water so we can use a blueberry. We can use a thyme and we need one air, a feather. And we needed to make a few of those. Let's, can we make three? Let's go ahead and try to make three. Cool. So this looks like a more of a brew and go into combat situation where you'll be exploring a map and helping townspeople on the side, which is in contrast to something like we played like Potion Permit, where it's more focused on helping people and building relationships, which I prefer a lot more. Feel free to check out Potions over on Steam. I feel like this game has a lot of opportunity to grow. Check out another adventure with me right here on the screen, and I'll see you next time. Bye.